Okay, so we're using live weather today. The aircraft's flight management computer is set up and ready to go. The aircraft is ready. Flaps are set to one. So let's get this aircraft into the air and uh, start our journey. Rotation speed is 130 knots. Rotate. A bit wobbly. Stick back. Let the aircraft trim. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. And I need to adjust the flaps. Bring them up. Get ourselves stabilized and engage the autopilot. Going to 126.63 Airbus 320. Brussels departure Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray 320 is climbing through 1,000 feet for 12,000 feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray 320 Brussels departure continue as planned. Altimeter 29.70. I've set the AI to manage radios so I can focus on flying and the AI is also managing all of the lights. It's uh, quite a handy feature for Flight Simulator 2020 considering that these airliners are usually flown by a two-man crew. Trying to do everything yourself is a lot of work when you're trying to manage on takeoff and landing. time-lapse until we're at the top of descent and then uh, we'll come back Russell once Center, we Airbus get to the fun stuff. Request flight level 200. Airbus 320 climb and maintain flight level 200. Climb and maintain flight level 200 Airbus 320.
maintain 4,000 feet Airbus 320. Okay, down to 4,000 feet. Beginning of the approach phase. So we're now turning towards Gatwick Airport. And in a second, I'll start getting the aircraft set up with the spoilers and the auto brake. So we'll see what I'm doing. And we want to set the auto brakes to medium. Uh, check the spoilers are where they need to be. They are armed now. And we will continue like this until we're on final. When we can bring down our flaps and the gear. still amazed by how good the graphics look on this game. It is simply incredible. And it's not just uh, satellite data. There's so much extra stuff going on in the background. The way the lighting works, the shadows over the ground. It's just amazing. It looks incredible. Bus 320 descend and maintain 2,000 feet. Descend and maintain 2,000 feet Airbus 320. Okay, so down to 2,000. And we are turning again. So currently we are following a preset flight plan. There's actually very little for me to do. Pretty much until the final approach and just before landing there's a rather strong crosswind today this is live weather and uh, here in the UK we've got quite high winds at the moment I think when I flew a Cessna into London City earlier on it was 28 knots of crosswind that was interesting so we'll see how we get on in the localizer for approach and then once we're lined up I'll activate the approach button which will help get us set up on the glide slope. Gatwick is just over there in the distance, the light patch over there, you can just see it. Localizer on first, just until we get set up and stable. The autopilot's still a bit buggy on the Airbus A320, so I'm going to get us lined up first and then I will activate the approach as we get a bit closer. Okay, so we seem to be on the localizer. I'm going to switch on approach mode now. We're still a bit to the left of the runway, so I'm hoping that the aircraft will sort itself out. There is quite a strong crosswind at the moment. I'm going to change displays for an ILS landing.
Okay, we're about to intercept the glide slope, so let's go flaps and gear down. And we'll slowly add in flaps as we get closer to the runway. We're definitely fighting uh, some crosswind here. Airbus 320, you are seven miles east of Gatwick. Contact Gatwick Tower on 124 decimal 2 tree when inbound on the approach. Tower on 124 decimal 2 tree Airbus 320. Gatwick Tower Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray 3206 miles east inbound ILS runway 26 left approach. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray 320 Gatwick Tower. Cleared ILS runway 26 left approach. Altimeter 29 or decimal 84 wind 332 at 20. Airbus 320 cleared to land runway 26 left. Wind 332 at 20. Cleared to land runway 26 left Airbus 320. 1000. Okay, we're definitely a bit too far to the left of the runway. I'm not sure if that's because of the weather or whether because the ILS system isn't quite right. I have had a bug a few times where the autopilot has lined me up slightly to one side of the ILS. reason the uh, gear lever is having a stroke. It seems to have stopped now. Not quite sure what caused that. Airbus 320 turn next taxiway. Airbus 320. Okay, so I'll get ready to taxi to the gate in a moment. I'm just going to clean up the aircraft quickly. I'm using the taxi assist ribbons because they give you a gate number and I don't have any charts for the airports, so I can't really navigate without the map. So the taxi ribbon is very helpful. Let's get that permission to taxi to a gate and I will see you at the gate. Gatwick ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 request taxi to the gate. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 taxi to gate 88 using taxiway Golf Romeo Golf cross runway 8 left Juliet Romeo Kilo. Taxiing to gate 88 via Taxiway Golf Romeo Golf Cross Runway 8 Left Juliet Romeo Kilo Airbus 320.
it's bizarre. There's usually one. I have to eyeball it. So here we come. A bit closer. If I try and space it so it's near me. Uh, there we go. Okay, so thank you for joining me today.